my name is Courtney and I've been a part-time reseller since 2018 and today I have a thrift haul for you guys. Um, so I did not go thrifting because I told you guys I've been trying really hard to not go thrifting until I get all of my consignment inventory listed. This is actually a thrift trip that was still in my car from before I said I wasn't going thrifting. So I don't know if you consider that my death pile or not, but I did bring it inside, um, got it all hung up and I am going to get it listed. Um, so I went to my little honey hole thrift store that I've told you guys about before um, and found some great things. There's a couple different transactions here. Typically when I get there, they have so many great shoes that I fill an Ikea bag and I have to check out because they don't have carts. So I have to check out, put that in my car and then come back in with another bag to shop for clothing. So that's what I did with this one. And then I also got some special price items that I purchased separately on a separate transaction so that it didn't skew my average cost of goods for the regular price items. So I have a couple different transactions that I'm gonna go over with you guys and a lot of great things. I am filming this before work, so it's gonna be kinda quick because I'm running a little bit behind, but I think we're gonna get through it. The first transactions for the shoes and accessories that I told you guys about, um, it looks like I paid $77.58 for two, four, six, eight items. So whatever that average cost of goods is, I will put on the screen here. I did have some more expensive shoes that skewed that cost of goods. So there's maybe some things that I like break even on because of that, but I think that'll be fine. Um, so I guess we'll do accessories first. I got, actually, I think those are from my second trip in. So they had a lot of like vintage made in the USA, like winter gear, like hats and socks and earmuffs and things like that so this is the thrift store that i found that like huge actually i have some here i found like a huge lot of vintage hats that i think were sold originally at rei and places like that and i think they maybe got these in the same donation and held them until it got cold out because there were a lot of like nuba tags rei tagged pieces um, so this, I don't know how this is going to do. I didn't look up comps on it, but it was like $2. So I figured it was worth it. Um, so it's hundred percent wool, new tags and made in the USA. And then I got a couple of these. These are acorn socks and it says the original sandal socks. So they're definitely vintage. I guess maybe that was a trend at one point. I feel like by the time I was in school, that was like a no-no. Like you would be shamed forever if you wore socks with sandals. But I think that's back in now because um, I've seen it quite a bit, like at the airport and things like that. So I picked up a couple of these. They had probably 10 of them, um, but I wasn't certain how well they would sell. So I just picked up a couple to try out. I think I paid like four or five dollars a piece on these. And these were the most fun prints that they had. So the fact that they were new with tags was great. So this is the pair of shoes that I paid up the most for. This is a pair of men's Brooks Ghost. And y'all, there's no way that these were ever worn. If they were worn, they were worn inside, tried on and taken back off because they are like brand spanking new. I did pay $20 for these, but they are in men's size 15 in like new condition. So I think I should, I haven't looked up comps on these in a while, but I should, I think be able to get like 75 or so for them. And my husband wears a size 13 and it is nearly impossible to find a 13 in stores. So I imagine that it's probably even harder to find a 15. So I'm hoping that it being a larger size and a reputable brand and a great style and almost new condition uh, that they'll sell great. So up next is a pair, I don't know if you'll be able to see inside, but the brand is Corks by Corkies. And these are just a pair of leather booties they were in great shape. There's a little bit of scuffing, but nothing that Doc Martin's Wonder Balsam couldn't get out. So this is a great brand. It sells really, really well for me. I don't find it a lot. Or sometimes when I find it, it's in like less than great shape. So I leave it. Well, this is fun. These are in the kids section, but they're actually a women's. Um, so these are a pair of Sorel Disney collab, which I've never heard of. Um, so this definitely gives like an Elsa, like frozen vibe, but I did look up comps on these just cause I wasn't sure. These I think are a women's size six. Yeah. Women's size six. 
Um, so I did look up comps and I want to say these were around like $35 to $40. All right. I also found a pair of Jack Rogers, which let me see if I can show you guys. That's the brand. And this brand is known most for sandals. Um, they have a very specific style that I can spot from a mile away at this point. Um, these are a size six and a half, but they are a pair of black booties with a little bit of fringe. They are in great shape. Just need a little polish and they'll be good to go. I have sold Jack Rogers booties before. I can't remember what they sold for, but I think they sold decent. They did take, I want to say a few months to sell, um, but I can't remember when I listed them. I may have listed them like in the dead of summer. And then last pair of shoes and last item on this first transaction is a pair of Free People booties. I thought at first these might be Freebird, which if you are a new reseller, Freebird is a mega bolo. They sell for over $100 um, in most cases, but the distressing, I picked them up and immediately looked on the on the sole to see if they were Freebird, but they weren't. But they were Free People, which is great. So Freebird, if you don't know, if you look on the bottom of the boot, it'll say like Freebird etched in the, I don't I guess it's a wood bottom. Um, and that's how you can tell like right away. Sometimes it's a little bit worn down and you have to look inside, but that's like a dead giveaway for free birds. So anyways, these are free people. Um, didn't look up comps, but I'm sure they'll do great, especially it being the season. And that was it for the shoes and accessories in the first transaction. So let me put these back in and I will jump in to the next transaction. Okay, I don't have the receipt for this one because I think it's in my wallet, but I still, I left the price tags on so I should be able to tell you how much I paid. So this next transaction was like the boutique section, which is basically anything new with tags or any brands that they know are higher end, they will price up. Um, and it's a set, like everything that's new with tags, they price at, I think $30 or most things, they price at $30. So there were some pieces that were on the boutique rack that I was keeping my eye on for when it hit the color, the 50% off color tag, because um, I would not have paid $30 for them, but I did pay half off of that for $15. So I will show you guys that. I think this was one of our only full price boutique sales. Um, and this is a new at tags Lafayette 148. So I did pay $30. Um, the retail on this is $398. And this is definitely a brand that I love to sell. Um, I don't pick up everything in it anymore, just the more substantial pieces or new with tags pieces, but this is a plus size as well. This is a size 18. So I thought it had plenty of sellable factors, um, enough so that I thought it was worth paying up to $30 for. All right, this is one that I was waiting to go half off. So originally it was $30, but blue and black, I think, were the 50% off tag of the week. So these were 15 and these are Eva Franco new with tags. They retail for $218 and they're just this velvet wide leg pant. Um, and I typically don't like to pick up solid black pieces because I just hate photographing them. They're so challenging, but these being velvet, being new with tags, being a great brand, and it being like right at the beginning of the holiday season, I was like, literally all the stars are aligning on this and I couldn't say no. So I picked those up. I have sold Eva Franco before, um, but nothing new with tags and nothing in that condition. As this was another 50% off. So it was $15 and it's a Bowdoin new with tags dress. So, you know, Bowdoin, I think it has quite a bit of a following. This is a midi dress. It's a size US 14 regular, which was another reason I wanted to pick it up because it is plus size. It's got these cute smocked sleeves. Yeah, I mean, not much to say about this. It is, you know, kind of basic. It's a pretty print though and new attacks plus size. There were just too many reasons not to pick it up. I cannot believe I found this brand again. Uh, so if you have been following me for a while, I have recently picked up this Sale to Sable brand that is sold in many places, but Tucker Nook is the one that I know for sure that it's sold on. Um, I picked one up at a consignment store in Florida when I was visiting my parents. That one sold for over $100, it was new with tags. Then at the same thrift store, I picked up a sequin mini dress, new with tags for $30, and that one also sold for over $100. So when I saw this one, I was like, yeah, I'm getting that. So 
Um, this one's beautiful as well. It is a party dress, which I think I'm trying to stick to, um, like the more substantial ones because they do make a lot of casual things as well, but comps for those don't, it doesn't look like they bring even close to a hundred dollars like these like fancy event cocktail formal dresses do. So this is a mini, it's a blue color, new with tags, size large. Um, and it's originally retailed for $248. This is the something flare tunic dress in navy yeah it's got like this tinsel effect so definitely has a holiday vibe so i'm hoping that this one sells for over a hundred dollars as well that would be great and that was it from the boutique section so everything else was regular price um so it looks like all right i paid 155 dollars and 16 cents for everything else i'm going to show you so i got four five six twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26 items. So 26 items for $155 and 16 cents. They must have just changed the color tag because I never find very many color tag items in the regular section. And I found a ton. I mean, like probably at least a third of them were half off, which was great. So I'll put my cost of goods for this haul on the screen for you as well. Um, there's a couple accessories I wanted to show you. Um, so I missed these when I went in and was looking at the shoes and all of that first at first. Um, but I got a couple accessories. So this is a beret and it's new with tags Pendleton. Um, so I did pay up a little bit for this. They had it marked at $8, I believe. Yeah, $8. So um, anyways, I thought this was a great find. It's 100% wool. We're going into winter. Why not? You know, Pendleton's a great brand and it's vintage. And then this was kind of like a gut, gut check. No, kind of like a, I went with my gut on this one. Um, so this is new attacks from Neiman Marcus. Uh, it looks like back whenever it was sold, it sold for $35. Um, so this is like a, what do they call this? Newspaper boy cap um, in this holiday plaid. So it's new with tags. It says made in Italy and it's a size medium. And I'm pretty certain I don't see a tag that says it. Oh yeah, here we go. Pretty sure it's wool. Let's see. It says 75% WO, 25% PA. So I guess that means 75% wool maybe 25% polyamide. I don't know, but definitely a wool blend. Um, perfect for the holiday season. I don't know. That may be unisex. I'm not sure if it's men's or women's. All right. Jumping into clothing. This was my first find. If you don't know, these like little corset vintage pieces are a bolo right now. Um, I mean, I guess I'd say it's a bolo. They're selling really well because they are like all over the runways and things like that. This was a union made, so we know for sure that it's vintage. That's what this little tag is. Um, it just indicates that it was made in the union. Uh, this is, oh, I didn't even realize it's Victoria's Secret. I don't know that I've ever found a Victoria's Secret union made. I'm excited to look up comps on this. Um, it says it's a size 34, I believe, and it's a nylon rayon blend, 50-50. So it's got like the hook and eye like bra type closure on the back it's 100 percent sheer so yeah the fact that this is victoria's secret and union made i'm hoping this does well i don't i mean i haven't looked up comps if i had to guess maybe like 40 ish could be totally wrong though go by what the comps say on the screen all right i found this brand i have found it before i'm not going to try to say it but it um i actually think the other piece that i found in this brand is this exact same piece um, and I sold it a while back. It's just a solid red shirt, but I think this might be some designer. Um, it was probably two years ago at this point when I found the other piece and sold it, but so I didn't look up comps. I probably should have, but I will put them on the screen. So when I saw that, I picked it right up. Um, yellow was 25% off. Um, and that's what that red top was. This was also 25% off. Lewitt is the brand. It's a size extra small. I looked this one up. I wasn't really familiar with that brand, but I recognized it. And it looked like in my comp research that it was an Aritzia brand. Um, and this jacquard piece, that's a keyword that's used for this type of um, design. Uh, it was going for like 
35 to 45 dollars so i think regular price tops at this store are six dollars so it was 25 percent off of that so i definitely thought it was worth the pickup i got a few uh free people pieces this day um this is one of them this is a size us 10 and it's a faux leather pair of pants so they were in excellent condition no pockets on the back so I thought those would do well. I think I've told you guys recently, I'm not picking up a ton of free people anymore just because it's oversaturated and not doing that well for me, but special pieces like that or something that's really cheap, I will pick up. This is Rachel Parcel. Um, this is in a size small and it's a cardigan sweater. So it's this pretty like maroon red burgundy color. Um, let's see what the contents are. Let's see, it's an acrylic nylon blend. And I did look up comps for this because I haven't found Rachel Parcel in a long time. And I remember that it was doing well the last time I looked it up, but because it had been so long, I did want to look it up again. And, and it's not doing, like I was hoping for like 75-ish, but I think it was more like 45-ish for comps for this. But I'll put everything on the screen. Like I told you guys, this stuff's been in my car for a while, so. I don't really remember. All right, this is also free people, size extra small, and it's just this beautiful embroidered, I don't know, I guess it's a tunic. I think it's too short to be a mini dress, even for somebody like really small. So it's got these cinch sleeves, gorgeous embroidery. I didn't see a single flaw on this one, but you know how that goes. I could get it under the lights and find something like huge that I missed. All right, this was another free people. This was 25% off, size small. And it's this purple. I wanna say I maybe have sold this before. If not this exact dress, maybe this print in another style. But it's got these like gorgeous bell sleeves, button down, it's got the necktie. Yeah, 25% off, couldn't say no to that. All right, this was a 50% off piece, which is the only reason I picked it up. It is Abercrombie & Fitch size two, and it's this smocked off the shoulder top. It's like a crop top. So I think half off, what did I say? So it's $6 regular price, so it would have been $3 for that. All right, more free people. This is We The Free. And this one is a size medium and it's this like denim. It's not actual denim, but it gives like the wash of it gives a denim vibe. Oversized solid blue piece. So what did I say this was? Yeah, this one was half off. So this was $3. All right, this is Cynthia Ashby, which I haven't looked it up in a while, but I want to say last time I did it was a bolo. Um, I have sold it a couple times. This was 50% off, so it was only $3. So it is a little bit of a basic top, but the fact that the brand is so great and it was 50% off, so I paid $3 for this, I wasn't going to leave that behind. Like I said, I got a lot of 50% off pieces. This was another one. This is Jill Stewart, size 10. And I did see this when it was full price and I did not pick it up for $6, but for $3, I figured I couldn't go wrong. So it is like a semi-cropped peplum, um, what do they call this? Where it's like a faux wrap. Mackenzie at McThrifty always talks about it, but I can never remember what it's called. It's got a cinched bubble sleeve, so cute little polka dot print. All right, we have another 50% off free people piece. This was an extra small and it's one of their like waffle knit bubble sleeve tops. So hopefully that'll do well. Another 50% off piece. This is kimchi blue and I only picked this up for factor stacking. So this is a brand that sold at Urban Outfitters, I believe. Um, this is a size medium. So I picked it up because it was 50% off and it was a maxi dress. So beautiful print, boho. There is a little flaw, but I figured it wasn't a deal breaker. So it's got a little hole right there. I think that would be an easy fix for somebody. So yeah, I definitely would not have picked this up for $6. You still could make a profit on it, just not a big profit. 
All right, this is a great find and it was 50% off. I'm shocked somebody didn't pick it up. Um, the brand is the J. Peterman Company. And I've sold J. Peterman women's before. I think it was like a dress, but I've never sold men's. This was in the men's section. Um, it's a wool vest. I need to look up stock photos because this button is a different print. It's the same style button, but it's a different colorway than these. So I don't know if that was manufactured that way or if somebody replaced it. Um, so if they did replace it, if that's not how it's supposed to be, I'm definitely gonna have to mention that in my listing as a flaw. But the fact that there is a button there is great. So this should do really well. It's got front pockets, size extra large. Um, yeah, 65% wool, 20% polyester, 15% alpaca. So that's great. All right, gotta speed this up. We got a pair of a Goldie jeans. I almost didn't go through the jeans because I was tired at that point, but I was like, let me just go. I never find jeans at this place. So I was glad that I did. These are a 27 skinny, so not the most ideal style, but I think I paid six or seven dollars for these. So I'll probably have to sit on them for a minute. Um, a Goldie has definitely slowed down for me. It used to be one of my top selling brands, um, but it just takes a little bit longer to sell now. These are the North Face XXL. They are like the zip off transitional weather hiking pant. So it does have some like funky sticky residue on the buckle. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm gonna have to take some goo on to that, but I'm fine with doing a little bit of work on those. All right, we found a pair of Spanx, size large. These are just like a pull on jegging. Need to take a lint roller to them um so yeah because they're a jegging they're a skinny fit they've got pockets on the back all right i found a frame top which frame clothing other well even jeans at this point don't sell quickly for me but they usually sell for a decent profit so um this was full price so this was six dollars it's a button down really really nice good condition I found this piece in the pajama section, but it's actually a maxi dress by Soft Surrounding, size extra large. It's got this beautiful beading and it is stunning. So I think she charged me for pajamas. So I think it was like $5 maybe. Solid back, side slit. So yeah, I think somebody's gonna love that. All right, this is a dress the population dress size XXL, which is a great size. Not the best style. Um, this kind of reminds me of like the 2000s, but the fact that it's a bigger size, it's beaded, it's in excellent condition. I still thought it was worth the pickup. I think I paid $8 for that. Just a few more pieces. Um, this was a fun find. I haven't found this brand in a while, Beyond Yoga size small this is their logo it's like a little lotus and these are like speckled uh what's it called metallic uh metallic leggings so i want to say maybe i found this exact style or maybe i've seen somebody else haul it because it looks familiar to me but yeah beyond yoga is a great brand again it doesn't sell quite as well as it used to but it does still sell all right, this is a Madewell cardigan. I'm very picky with Madewell these days, but something like a cardigan or a jacket or a blazer, things like that, I will pick up. Um, I did pay, pay full price for this, which was $6, but I should definitely be able to turn a profit on that. And then the last piece I got is something kind of out of my comfort zone. Here, let me take this off. All right, this is a men's Ralph Lauren, like, what are these called? Parka? Trench coat, trench coat. It's got the original tie with it. It's a like chocolate brown, it's quilted on the inside. It's a size 40R, all the buttons are there. So the fact that it's a super substantial piece and, you know, I've told you guys, I've been more likely to pick up coats these days because I have a new coat rack that I can store them on. I used to just store them on the back of that door there and I ran out of room, 
So I've got a full rack in the garage now that I store them on. So I think this, I mean, I didn't look up comps, but the fact that it's Ralph Lauren 40 regular and a trench coat, like my guess is probably between, this is a wide range since I haven't looked up comps. So go by what I put on the screen, but I'm guesstimating like 75 to 125 on that. So um, I definitely thought that was worth picking up. And I think that was everything. So yeah, that was a great haul. That's the kind of, um, you know, there's a little bit of bread and butter mixed in there, but there are also some standout brands like that Jay Peterman, the Ralph Lauren. Let's see what else. The Sale to Sable should bring a lot. The Brooks sneakers. I mean, there were some great finds. I was very, very happy with that thrift trip. So again, that's why I love my little honey hole. It's not open very often, but when I can sneak over there, typically when I work from home, I'll take my lunch break and go over and thrift for an hour. Um, and that's when I find some great stuff. So anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. My next video, I believe, is going to be part two of my haul for whatnot. So the items that I sourced to sell in my first whatnot show on December 2nd. So if you're not already uh, signed up for whatnot, click my link below. I think you get like a certain amount for signing up with my link and I'll get a little kickback once you make your first purchase. And then I also linked my show if you want to go in and bookmark that after you have signed up for whatnot. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe here on YouTube. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Have a great day.